Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. And one second. <laughs> Look at these pictures, man. I tell you, sometimes the internet is great. Props to y'all. I mean, wait another second. Can we just come to the realization real quick that Big Baller Brand started with a near 50-year-old dad talking crazy and has reached the president of the United States? Ah, oh, America. What a country. The only place where you can go on every sports talk show and say outrageous things and get rich from it. Anyway, my take for today is on why Leangelo Ball, Jalen Hill, and Cody Riley should be suspended for the entire season. Today, I'm not asking for a thumbs up and comment because you already know what to do. If you like the video or not, that's why the thumbs up and comment section are there for you, so let's get going. I'll start by saying I'm not one of those people that is anti Lavar and everything, where if Lonzo has a bad game, I'll call him a bust because I don't like what his dad has said in the past, or in this case, if Leangelo and teammates steal from three stores in China, that they should be suspended for a whole season. I'm saying that the three UCLA basketball players should be suspended for the entire season because they stole from not only a Louis Vuitton store, but according to athletic director Dan Guerrero, two other stores inside a luxury shopping center in Hangzhou, China as well. Plus, this became a pretty big blunder in front of the world stage, as well considering that President Trump had to get involved asking China's president Xi Jinping to help in the case. I don't care what you think about Trump, it's just a simple fact that he had to get involved in this mess that should factor into the suspension link. And I want to apologize right now on behalf of the human race for this travesty. On behalf of the human race, on behalf of the human race for this travesty. This wasn't a simple, well, you stayed out past curfew, so your minutes get cut kind of thing. Now, these three players stole from three stores in a communist country. Trump said in a tweet that these players could have faced 10 years in Chinese prison, and while that number may be large, they still could have had to face up to four years in prison, considering that they stole from a luxury store in Louis Vuitton, and we haven't even factored in the other two stores that they stole from. But just looking at Louis Vuitton, the players would have had to face prosecution in the formal Chinese criminal justice system. This system is like the US but with fewer rights for those accused and in a criminal trial, defendants call for witnesses is routinely rejected according to the handbook of Chinese criminology. Even if Ball were to retain a top criminal attorney, Chinese prosecutors have a 99.9% .9 conviction rate according to the Washington Post. So that's one reason why the players should be suspended for the entire season. Let's add one more point onto this argument to make it truly the real reason why these players should be suspended for the entire season. I'm one of many people who simply don't believe that college programs see a top prospect and potential one and done player as a student athlete, more of an athlete student to me. To prove this up, I'll pull up the famous Ben Simmons quote from when he was at LSU. I have to be getting better every day. I'm not worried about my oceanography class. So if UCLA, a school valued for its education, school that only accepted 17.3% of freshman applicants for the 2015-16 school year, because that's how challenging it is to get accepted there, is going to let these three quote unquote student athletes return before at least a half a season goes by, and you know I'm advocating for an entire season, then what does that tell the general public? It's wrong, and UCLA should choose wisely when to bring these guys back. Don't do it when you're on a losing streak and need a couple more threes from Leangelo or a couple more rebounds from Jalen Hill and Cody Riley. You pretty much believe already that these guys are athletes first, but don't confirm that so quickly for us by bringing them back so early. Let there be hope. In conclusion, I won't be the one who makes a blanket claim that Leangelo had to be the one who convinced Riley and Hill to steal with him because I have no evidence of that. I will say though that pride goes before destruction a haughty spirit before a fall, that's Proverbs 16.8, and these three players obviously thought for a time that they could do whatever they wanted, ignoring that they were all above 6'5", walking around in luxury stores in China with security cameras pinned on them. It appears as if they're on the right track now with their apologies, and the lesson to be learned is, no matter how much money you have or what your title is, no one is above anyone else when it comes to obeying the law. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Should the three UCLA players be allowed to play this season? Leave your response in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more Topic Tackle. JC3, out!